By now at 5.30, never before seen evidence in the death of a Connecticut mother of five, Jennifer Dulos. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. This as prosecutors try to prove that her estranged husband and another woman, Michelle Traconis, conspired to hide the evidence. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has today's developments from day eight of the trial in Stamford. Tuesday, the jury saw sobering proof of the death of Jennifer Dulos, mother of five embroiled in a bitter divorce in May of 2019. Hours after she vanished, surveillance cameras captured her estranged husband, Fotis, dumping bags of trash in Hartford. So there's specks of blood-like substance on the palm. Sergeant Kevin Duggan told the jury this glove was one of many pieces of evidence recovered from the trash, including a T-shirt. So it was a white T-shirt? with what appeared to be a blood-like substance on the T-shirt, and we found that suspicious. The jury was shown multiple recovered items the prosecution believes were used to clean up the crime scene, clothing they believe Jennifer was wearing when she was killed, and zip ties they believe were used to restrain her. Nothing that was in those bags will be shown to have had anything to do with Michelle Traconis or that she knew what was in any of those bags. The defense acknowledges Michelle Traconis was in the pickup with Fotis Dulos. She is seen reaching out at one point and wiping her hand on the ground. Attorney John Schoenhorn says Traconis was mostly on her phone with no idea what Dulos was up to. She looks up, she says, what are we doing here? They were supposed to be going to Starbucks. As for wiping her hand on the ground, Traconis claims she was trying to get rid of a sticky piece of chewing gum. So far, the jury has seen some evidence Traconis may have helped cover up the crime, but really no evidence she conspired with Dulos in advance. Still, a lot of testimony to come. At the courthouse in Stamford, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Is believed Dulos killed Jennifer and then hid her body, which has never been found. He died by suicide four years ago this month.